So I'm sure you've watched uh, 100 YouTube videos on how to do uh, valve uh, lapping. And so uh, welcome to video 101. So this is how I do it. I take a uh, piece of uh, plastic tubing here, which if I remember correctly is refrigerator uh, ice maker hose maybe. Uh, part number is 701873. I don't know if I can get that on video or not. Anyway, bought this at Home Depot or Lowe's. I think it's like 10 feet of it. So just cut a little segment off. Uh, I guess it's about five inches. So it's five, six, seven inches or so. Take that off of there. Uh, I threw a drill bit that just barely fit inside and drilled it up in. So it's kind of actually real tight inside of there. Anyway, it took a little bit of material out as it went, so it's nice and snug. Uh, we got our die cam uh, steel blue for marking these valve surfaces. The one on the bottom right has been done already, so I wanted to do a quick video on the bottom left one there. These are um, exhaust valves for a 2013 Kawasaki STX-15F. Uh, let's see, we got our valve grinding compound, our Permatex uh, 80036. And uh, we also have our cleaned off valves. So these are all nice and clean. Valve surfaces have been prepped with the die cam as well. Sorry, I'm trying to put this under the light here. Hopefully you can see it. Focus, focus. Okay, anyway. So the valve uh, face, uh, excuse me, the valve seat has been layered with the blue die cam. It's a little hard to see on this video, I think, but... There we go. I'll make it a little better. Sorry, guys. Can't, can't find somewhere to focus. Maybe my lens is dirty. That's going to have to be good enough. So, uh, now what I'm going to do is just uh, throw the valve in. This is going into this... Pit, uh, this I completely forgot. I'm going to prep the uh, the, the uh, valve seat with a little bit of grinding compound. I did want to show how much I use. It's just a tiny little dollop. I just put four little dollops on there and then use your finger to just lightly drag it around the edges there to uh, to spread it evenly. And actually that's even too much. So I, like three of those dollops evenly spaced on there should do you just fine. Uh, and I'll throw your valve down into your prepped hole. So you want to be as careful as you can with this stuff. You don't want that stuff getting down inside of your valve guide. So I just like lightly, just slowly work it on down. Let's go ahead and seat it, flip the head over. So here's our target right here. So now this uh, tip of your valve stem, you're going to, uh, you know, run the drill and it'll, it'll uh, push its way down onto there for about an inch. And then you're going to uh, just act, uh, you're just going to bob it in and out, for lack of a better term. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse it. One, two, three, four, five. And when you're doing that, you're you're closing the valve all the way to the to the uh, valve seat. Clack, 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 clack. Hopefully, I got this video set up in the right right frame here. Right frame. So I'm going to hold the uh, I'm going to hold the valve in on the back side as I put a little. Here. Now I'll put a little bit of pressure on this and drill the uh, plastic till it's seated about an inch down the valve stem. All right, about a half inch to an inch. All right, so now obviously I can push the valve out if you can see this, fully extend it, and I'm just gonna zing, 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 clack it five times. So start, close, and real light. Okay, that's it. Pull it off. Push your valve out. Don't get any stuff on anything. Let's see if we can actually see this valve face here. My uh, my camera holder here, having a hard time 
seeing without dumping this camera on the bench. Oh, let's just remove it. Okay. So you can see, hopefully, a little closer. Come on, focus. Okay, there we go. So just that little light touch five times. You don't need much more than that. You got a nice little rub around the entire thing. We went forward and reverse, so theoretically we should be reasonably even all the way around. And then let's check our surface of our, our uh, head. Okay, so again, that says hole number two here. Focus. So we got a nice... Nice seat all the way around there. Pretty reasonable, about a, uh, say, about a little over an eighth of an inch uh, seating surface. And that five times just seems to do a real even job on these. These valves are in pretty good shape. I just want to uh, make sure and uh, clean everything up perfectly on this one. So I'm gonna be selling this ski. I don't want anybody having trouble with it. Um, also took some time. Uh, you know, cleaned out with brake cleaner inside of the valve guides and then took a wire brush. This guy here, a little brass brush, cut off the tip of it, uh, smoothed out this tip on a grinding wheel just to make sure I wasn't gouging or scraping anything on the way in. And uh, just WD-40 after brake cleanered out the holes, cleaned out and just uh, lightly just routered it out a little bit just to clean it up. Uh, I do have an inspection camera that ran down inside that hole to uh it, it just works really good i could see that there was a little bit of rust inside of each one of these holes and so that allowed me to wd-40 and clean them out spray it out with brake cleaner get all the little particles out of there really you know get them super clean uh air compressor uh blow inside the holes and then uh once again with the brake cleaner just to clean them out and before we put these uh stems in here we wd-40 the holes as well so everything's nice and lubricated just for the operation that we're doing right now so i hope that helps somebody like subscribe do your thing